victory and inches Buffalo closer in this overall dual meet now at nine to six, Binghamton with the edge. And welcome back to the action and to the circle there, Michael Petit. Will Ebert at 165 against Ty Reigns is our next match. Buffalo looking to try to tie this one up. Yeah, Ty's like a sophomore, I believe. He's one of those COVID sophomores. Junior, Probably. North Chile, New York is Ty Reigns. Preseason number nine ranked in the MAC. Look, slide by, by Ebert, but nothing came about. Last year, six and nine, four and four in duels. This year, one and two is the record for Ty Raines. Career mark of 10 and 14. Will Ebert is a freshman, Fairfield, Connecticut. Debut season as a wrestler at Binghamton. Two-time Connecticut State champ, 51 and 0 as a senior was Will Ebert. Both guys just feeling each other out, a hand fight here, trying to set something up. Oh, and again, here's another one of those little more, you know, second straight match where Buffalo's had the experience edge over a freshman from Binghamton with a chance to tie this up when you start to get to some of the guys you feel really good about, Nivison, Hoos, Mitchell, against some of those ranked guys we talked about for Binghamton. Yeah, it's definitely in the end of the match, like late, late time in the third, the more experienced guy usually has the edge there just because they've been around it for a longer, they know the little tricks they can do. Good and I, shot. And I would think, Troy, you would tell me if, if nothing else, the experience lets you feel a little more confident, a little less nervous, a little, a little better about your strategy, too. Yeah, it definitely builds confidence. Ebert's able to get behind, so that's two for a takedown. He's trying to throw that leg in right away, but Ty's working to get under it. First two points go to Will Ebert. So Ty's got this leg high. Now Ebert's in bad position, but he's got cross face in his arm, so it's stalemate there. Not much was gonna happen there. Little legacy going on for Ty Reigns. His dad, Justin, wrestled here at UB back in the day. Family tradition living on here in his son, Ty Raines, wrestling for the Bulls at 165. Yeah, that's awesome. Family pride comes into it. Who knows, 20 years, we see Ty's little kid running around here. <laughs> maybe. You'll see your kids running around here, too, at some point, maybe. <laughs> Ebert's got that leg in. He's crossbody doing good, trying to break Ty down. Ty's just trying to hold his base. He's got to try to get that leg out before he's going to be able to do anything. See him kind of sit to his hip, try to create a little space, but Ebert looks real tough here. He's able to get the second leg in. And you can see you get a good, tight, close-up look there at the position that Ty Reigns is in, which is not really where you want to be. Yeah, he's got a half. The rest of it stops it there for uh, potentially dangerous, the arm there. Final couple of ticks here of the first period with the narrow 2 nothing lead for Will Ebert. Yeah, Ty fires up, try to get a quick point there. Sometimes you catch the top guy, just relax a bit, only four seconds, but. Last year, a very successful year for the Buffalo Bulls. 12 and six, the record, seven and two in the MAC. That was a school record for most MAC wins as uh, John Stutzman relied on all, some of the young guys that we're seeing today, but a lot of his veterans like Derek Spann that helped the team finally kind of get over that hump a little bit. And now, as is the nature in college athletics, a little bit of rebuilding going on for Stutzman and the Bulls wrestling squad. Yeah, a lot of action right there. Ebert was quick on a reshot. He's been in this position a couple times. He's got to try getting his arm out. Ty's doing a good job locked in the crotch. Riding time at play here as well, and a pretty good advantage for Ebert. Ebert's trying to hook that leg. 
So Tyreens has got technically a three-point deficit to try to overcome here. Yeah, he's got to fight this off here. You don't want to let him score any points, but Ebert's in good position. And there's two more the two. for the Binghamton wrestler, Ebert. Ty's got to try firing up here. He doesn't want to be down flat or the leg's going to come in. Just like that, he's able to come up. No points yet. And get a reversal. And Buffalo's Ty Reigns gets his first two. See what Ty's made up of on top here. Try to take away some of that riding time. Right in front of us here. Front row seat for this battle at 165. Ebert's reaching back for that wizard. Out of bounds. Four two is the score here. Final seconds of the second period. Ty Reigns and Will Ebert. Yeah, if Ty's able to hold him down here, it'll knock riding time under a minute. We only have a minute and eight seconds right now, so this is a big ride out for Ty. And that's exactly what Ty has done. We are under a minute on the riding time now. Doing a good job just keeping him there, not really going for anything, but he's holding him down short time. That's what you gotta do there. All right, good strategy, right? That was That's the strategy at that point. You get rid of that extra riding time yep. point, just keep it going till the end of the period, and then see what's gonna happen here in the third. Got a couple of matches so far here tonight that have come down to this third period and been decided there. So this one looks like it'll be that way as well. Yeah, you can see a little change up. Ebert chose top here. He's trying to get that riding time back. And he's back in on a leg there. He's got the minute of riding yep. time. So riding time's again gonna be a factor. Ebert's doing a really good job with the legs, getting them in. Ty's trying to shake him off right here, make him get high and pop his head out. And you can see that riding time increasing for Will Ebert. Yeah, Ebert looks like he might have got a cradle locked up here. Ref's gonna let it kind of play out. What's the strategy with the left leg there? That's kind of holding Ty down, but if he gets it out and has that cradle locked, he's gonna try to get him to his back. So you might see him try taking it out or he's just gonna go to work with that leg in still. Under a minute to go, third period of this match at 165. Tyreen's gonna have to come up with, uh, overcome the deficit that is 5-2 right now with riding time pretty much locked in for Will Ebert. Yeah, minute 59, only 52 seconds left, so that's definitely a point, so 5-2 essentially. Ty's got to fire up and keeps his elbows in because we know that leg's going to come in right away from Ebert. So we'll get a start here again. You really can see the chest coming up and down there on Ty Reigns. It's been a tough match. Yeah, he's a lot of energy to try to fight this off. And you can see Ebert's right back in on this cradle. Ty's trying to get that leg out. It's stalling for Ebert, but he's trying to turn him with this cradle. He's getting high. This is what Ty's been trying to do this whole time. He's got to pop his head out and come up on top. Ebert's trying to hang on. Sam Lissuso, so there's the reversal. Listen to the, the crowd, there's two for Ty Reigns. So Ty's gonna cut him and he's got 10 seconds to Still got here. the riding time point, will that decide this one? Yeah, short time, he's trying to just go. And Reigns, you can just see out of gas. Right there's Did a he stalling point. A stalling point, might bring it to overtime. So we should be tied at five here with the riding time awarded. We got to see what the refs decide, if it's a point or if time was up. Man, that... Oh. Well. 
That finger went up just as the buzzer did. And the if win is going to go to Eberts. So I guess we didn't call stalling on that. So it it's going to wind up being a 6-5 Ebert victory. They're, looks like they're going to talk. I, I believe he threw up the stalling, which brought... It was four to... It was 5-4, was, was it not? That ain't making me recall. Yeah, no. I believe it was because Ty, Ty reversed them to tie the matchup. But Ebert had riding time, so we knew he had to cut him. So it was. But then was the a, stall point went up right as the buzzer sounded, which should have tied it at five. I believe so. So you can see Kyle Borshoff over there looking for an explanation from Gary Wade. You know, let's watch there. the end of this one, uh, Troy. So it looks like he calls the There's stalling. There's the one point right there. But with the riding time, it stays for Ebert. So Ebert.